What's up everyone, it is SVTWRC. I have stumbled upon a breakthrough technology for your electric vehicle. Yes, your all electric vehicle may be able to work with one of those throttle control units that are used heavily on internal combustion cars to reduce the ramp up time that your throttle pedal has from the factory. Tesla? Is that a throttle controller? Is that a Tesla interior? Does this really work? I also found that the popular pedal commander had a listing for the Chevy Spark EV. I would like to remind everyone this is DIY work and this is at your own discretion. Please do this at your own risk too. Yes, I am YouTube Master Certified Automobile Technician. I share the same amount of authority to reward these out as much as I do to have one myself. So Rich Rebuilds, this one's for you. This right here is a very controversial topic as I have seen zero forum and or YouTube videos about this. Two questions here. Does this thing work at all? And does it work for an EV car? Remember, if you're going to try and tackle this, use all the safety warnings in the manual. I will be taking the leap as the guinea pig here and being the first person I know on YouTube to try this with their electric vehicle. Sister to the pizza car, this is my 2016 Chevy Spark EV all-electric vehicle. For any of you that still play Pokemon Go in the year 2020, its name is Blastoise. It's a water Pokemon and it's electric car, I know, but... There is much debate on what to call this thing on the right here. There is no throttle body to actuate, so do you call it a throttle pedal? Lots of EV owners call it a Go pedal. This install doesn't require any tools and should take you about 15 to a half hour to complete. Attached to the Go pedal, you want to locate the car's throttle position sensor and its connection with the red tab and wires coming out of it. To undo the connection, unlock the red tab and push down on the little tab behind it. Gently pull the connection off of the throttle position sensor. Now take the connection from the throttle controller, plug the controller's connection into the input so that you hear the click. It'll only go in one way so that it clicks. If it doesn't click, you might have it backwards. Once you've double and triple checked that that is secure, next install the controller's connection to the throttle position sensor of the pedal. Lock it down with the red tab and make sure it is completely in there. Double and triple check those connections and then you can use some zip ties to make the controller box out of the way of your foot. Next, plug the lightning cable. The execs at Apple will be having a field day with this. They give you some faux 3M tape on the back, so you can mount it anywhere. This is not permanent, it's in the testing stage, so I'm just gonna kinda leave it loose for now. So my Marshall amplifier goes to 11. Well, why don't you just make 10 11? Well, cause mine goes to 11. So if this were your throttle pedal, on the EV. To attain maximum throttle, you would have to get this up to here as fast as you can. What the throttle controller is doing is taking 11 and putting it at about three or four, depending on what setting you have it on. So this way, instead of you having to go all the way up to here, you only have to go to here and you're achieving your max wide open throttle. Now this leaves the rest of the pedal travel pretty much dead. All to here, depending on what setting you are on, up to here will be all numb because you're already at max throttle. So that kind of doesn't do anything. Depending on where you're setting it, this will be all you have to do. And that's why the pedal controller and the throttle controller is so easy to drive the car now. All right, th this is some pretty exciting stuff. Who knows what is going to happen is... OnStar going to complain that we have something plugged in in between the throttle pedal. Um, what's going to happen is, is the whole entire computer going to say, nope, shut it down, pull propulsion power. All, hey. all right, everyone. Oh my gosh, we are here. I am so excited and scared to death right now. So let's see if we can do something here. We are going to just turn the car on and just see if it even works. So this thing is ready. I'm expecting some type of error message, like right away. Yeah, propulsion, propulsion power is reduced. This this is what I expected right away. Um, 
Now we're gonna go through the modes and see if this does anything to the modes. So we're gonna go down in... I knew this was gonna happen. This was too good to be true. To delete the propulsion message, go to your 12 volt battery and disconnect the negative battery terminal for 10 seconds and then put it back on again. So to calibrate this to work correctly, you want the car in park, not moving, but you want it, you want it on. The electric car is a little different, and then you're going to push mode down and hold it until it hits this. Now, mine was at 8.07. This must have been some type of calibration from the factory, possibly. So, what they want you to do in the instructions right now, mine was at 8.07. So, if yours is under, you would push plus to get it to 800. Mine, I had to go down, 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 and hit a couple decimal points, down to reach 800, and you go full down while in park. Make sure you're in park. Go full down with the throttle pedal, full back up, and then press that button in mode for five seconds, and that is how you calibrate it. So now that it'll work, you can switch through all the modes and you won't get any propulsion errors. For the EV, you want to set this to automatic mode. Hold plus down for five seconds. AAA will appear and go back to the mode you set. Wouldn't it be a bad time to review and renew your AAA subscription? You might need it. Yo. This, this thing can't be for real, is it? What? People. What? Oh my god! <laughs> yes! I'm in disbelief, but... Hello! Did you see that? At 42 miles an hour, the wheels spun. I am in Sport Plus point two, And... Oh my god! <laughs> so we're going to go with the first mode here, which is eco, which is going to be very sluggish. Well, eco mode is not too bad, um, but if you have to get out of the way, you don't want it. I mean, let's, let's ramp it down. I'm in eco 2. Oh yeah, and it's just, just a, a mild drive. Ramp it up to normal. Yep, you get the normal pedal sensitivity feel. Right, nothing ridiculous. It's still good. Now, remind you, none of this is being done with sport mode on. So, you know, at 30 again, we're gonna rip it. You know, it, it gives it the juice. It definitely does, it definitely rips. We're not here for normal mode, are we? No, we're not. So we're gonna go P1.5, which is uh, sport mode. P3.3, we're gonna hit 25 and juice it. Wow, two, double tire spin. So it spun, caught, and then spun again. I, it's just, it's absolutely incredible that it gives all the throttle input in the littlest bit of effort. It's incredible. So we're going to put sport mode on and choose it. Wow, there's 120. There, man, there. can still feel that after 30 it, it gets it still like myself you probably have a lot of questions about this now these units are the very inexpensive units from china there are some u.s made units that are very stout and look very quality 
Their components and their chipsets are probably better, but they tend to be on the expensive side. So for this testing purpose, this unit was about 40 something dollars off eBay and that's all I needed just to test my hypothesis, which has now become a theory. Throttle controllers work for your electric vehicle. Any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try and get back to everybody. SVTWRC, hope you're doing well. Stay tuned for more EV content, some more STI content and Jeep content in the future. We will see you. Take care.